when we're working with an outside creative team, feedback processes look different for each project and for each agency that we're working with. It depends on the nature of the work. So for example, a photo shoot requires a very different feedback loop than a video shoot, which requires a very different feedback loop than building an internal tool or an internal piece of software, which we often work with external teams on. Um, and it depends on the agency as well. If it's a large agency that, that specializes mostly in advertising, but we're having them help us with something more touchy-feely, maybe with a portion of the app or helping us build a product, it's a lot more hands-on because it's not necessarily work that they're close to doing or that they always do, but we want to tap into some creative genius or insight that they may have that we may not have internally. And so it depends on the team, you know, how close they are to the industry, to the business, to working with us as a client, and it depends on the nature of the project. But one thing that's consistent in all scenarios is that we have to have a set of tools and a shared language, a shared set of tools and a shared understanding of the project and a shared language that we can use because it makes the feedback loops we do have a lot more efficient. The more we can reduce needing to have feedback loops just to get everybody on the same page, the sooner we can get into the work, um, the sooner we can deliver the work and often the better the work is.